Kelly and I were surprised this morning when, when, we, got, when we were awakened. Um, it's a great honor, of course. Uh, economics and science generally aren't done by individuals. They're, they're done by law, large teams of people. I see lots of young economics students in the audience here. That's a, that's a good sign. It means the economics is thriving. Um, economics has, has somehow a reputation among some parts of the public as, as being boring, you know, about being about prices and statistics. But, but I've always thought of, of economics as being not just part of the social sciences, but part of the humanities, because it gives us a window into, uh, into people's lives at some of the, the biggest crossing points when they, when they get into schools and universities, when they get jobs, when they choose careers, when they get married. Uh, these are all matching markets. They're, they're markets where you can't just choose what you want, but you also have to be chosen. You have to, you can't choose your you can't just choose to go to Stanford, you have to be admitted. And Stanford can't just choose who, who comes to Stanford, they have to compete with Harvard and other universities. So lots of the things that we get in life come from choices, not just that we make, but that others make it as well. And that's what, uh, that's what people who study matching, uh, my colleagues and I, are studying. Um, and market design more generally is about how we can make marketplaces work better, how we can fix them when they're broken and, and develop new ones when, when they don't exist. 